Hey folks, my name is Sean and this is a 2020 Model Y and so today we're going to do a full self-driving test across a couple different interstates in Sacramento, California and we'll show you how full self-driving does. Uh, this is the Model Y all-wheel drive with the full self-driving package purchase. We're on the latest software update 2020.24.6 and this is July of 2020. If you're new here, normally when I do these full self-driving tests on the freeway or the city, I always have the setting on Mad Max and so that's going to be Tesla's most aggressive setting for full self-driving. And we'll see an example of that right here. Um, it looks like I'm in the second lane now, it looks like third lane is going a little quicker so it will navigate to the third lane, I give the confirmation and it goes. And just so you know, uh, we do have a new view when you have the camera set up now. Normally it's just that main view that you can just see the back. Now you have the two kind of blind spots to the left and to the right. And that's new and uh, that's that's a nice feature um, that they're adding. Also coming up I heard that um, they're also going to give, when you signal, they're also going to give that view as well too. We currently don't have that today but that will be a nice addition as well too in the next uh, update or two. And so it looks like... Uh, Lane 2 is now going faster and so it navigates me to lane 2. Once it does, um, Tesla realized that oh it's actually slower now and so it navigates me back. Normally in my day to day driving I, I don't normally have it set to Mad Max just because it does a lot of these uh, um, lane changes for me and then um, if you just saw what happened there it was going to change lane and then it popped me back into lane 2. I, I've had that happen to me several times and normally it's when there's curves in the freeway it, I don't think it can detect where the cars are behind us because of the curve and so I've had that pop I think almost I wouldn't say on every single full self-driving example that I've done on YouTube but I, I, I've, sat, I've had it happen maybe 60 or 70 percent of the time where doing a curve it tries to change lane and then it, it doesn't know if the car is behind me or not in that third lane or that lane I'm going to switch to and uh, most of the time it's not but it, it wants to be safe and so it moves me back into my lane until it's it's a straight road like this and then it realizes it's safe and then it'll, it'll pop me out or into a lane that I need to be and so that's something that I've noticed maybe for the last six months or so maybe even before that but I've noticed on a lot of trips that during curves you probably don't want to do lane changes and uh, a lot of times I think later in this example where there was a curve coming up I, I did not give the confirmation until I was out of the curve before I gave the confirmation for it to um, do the lane change. So I got about maybe about two miles before I got to exit out of this freeway to hop onto another freeway and so I'm not hopping into the two fast lanes now um, I'm staying on the right side uh, we'll see if it takes me to I, I think yeah I need to go to the right one more time before I can actually get onto the other freeway here so it moves me over to the right one more time I give it a slight confirmation and um, I'm in the right lane to exit to the other freeway so if you're new this is a uh, downtown Sacramento uh, we're headed through downtown Sacramento now this is a new route I, and I'm normally not in this area but I, I was in this area on this particular day and so um, it, it's it's a little newer to me as well too as far as full self driving. I think in the past I've always been scared about cars merging uh, in. Uh, more recently I think the software got better uh, and so with cars merging in I'm not so scared now before I, I always kept my hands on the wheels ready to take over. But now I think Tesla's doing a lot better with cars merging in on the freeway. Tesla's doing a pretty good job here. Cars merging in, it, it, it's pretty smooth um, like, like a human driver at this point. So I take this exit. Uh, I was set to 75. Now it changed me down to 70. Um, and as we hit this curve, it's changing down me down to 65. You know, one of my complaints a couple of months ago was that um, whenever Tesla did the shifting down from 75 to 50 or 45 during these S curves or during uh, intersection where it's a little slower, 
it, it, it jolted a little bit and I, I think over the last update or two they gotten they've gotten a lot better at that like in, in this example I didn't feel like it, it jolted me from 60 to 6, 55 or 55 to 50 it's been more of a gradual slowdown uh, and so you don't really notice any sort of jerks or anything in the road and so that that was a, a change that was for the better there um, as we approach this freeway here the next four or five mile stretch here um, even though I'm in the Mad Max mode I've noticed that on my last couple trips on this part or the section here it, it tends to keep me to the right lane where I thought that Navigant Autopilot was actually broken because it didn't change lane at all, at all. Um, because you, you'll, you'll see here shortly it kept even though my speed is set to 75 it, even though I was going 45 it, it didn't move me into a faster lane just because this intersection for the most part is so busy most of the time uh, aside from this trip and aside from covid like the two lanes on the right there's so many different intersections and people coming in people going out um, exits to other freeways that this inter this part or this stretch here for the next excuse me two to three miles are pretty uh busy and so i, I don't know if tesla knows that or not but Every time I'm on this section here, it doesn't pop me out to the fastest lane, and I don't think it's ever done that. Maybe once, like six or seven months ago, but um, the last four or five times I've been in this area, I've always been stuck in this slow lane, and like you can see, I'm going 50 right now, but it's not moving me to the fast lane just because it knows that I have to exit in uh, two to three miles here, and so that's just a pattern that I'm seeing traffic is is pretty light today uh, normally in this area here these two right lanes would be totally packed but um, just because you can exit out to so many different places uh, but today it's uh, it's not that busy and so I'm in the right lane I'm gonna uh, exit off of this interstate and hit a different interstate or hit a different freeway from here and so Tesla is taking control so far no intervention so far for on my behalf Tesla's been doing a pretty good job with these S-curves. I, I don't have any complaints or any issues with these S-curves now. It slows down, it speeds up. It, it actually speeds up uh, pretty pretty well uh, and keeping along with traffic, so no complaints here. These full self-driving tests on the freeway are getting pretty good in my opinion. I would say like 95% of the time, um, Tesla, the full self-driving autopilot is doing its job and it's keeping me in the lane. It's moving up with traffic, moving down with traffic without any issues. I think on every single drive, whether it's 20 minutes or 30 minutes, um, I've noticed maybe a, a scenario or two where it, it kind of makes me feel uncomfortable. And that's one of those situations coming up right now where um, this is an um, intersection or this is a freeway split that I'm very familiar with just because I, I drive this section a lot. And so on this occasion today, I'm behind a big truck and there, there's actually another car in front of me, but it's moving out of the way. So uh, I'm behind a big truck and uh, we're, we're coming up to this split on the freeway. And I mean, the split always reminds me of like the guy who got into the accident who passed away. Um, but, and so I'm always cautious, very cautious here, but there's a split coming up. And normally without the big truck in front of me, uh, Tesla is able to see the split and it's able to move into that split without any issues uh, on this particular day or this particular drive there's a big truck in front of me and so it didn't notice the split until the very last minute and it kind of jerked me right into the right lane and so I need to go right uh, as you can see here from Tesla's perspective it's just a three-way freeway and all of a sudden um, you, you see the split right here and I, I kind of almost took control here just because um, I was expecting the car to be a lot smoother than it was on that particular day. And so uh, that's something for me to be cautious about in the future, something for the folks out there who are using uh, full self-driving navigate autopilot, just to be cautious. If there's a big truck in front of you and Tesla's visual systems can't see what the road's gonna be, it might have an issue. It might make some jerks along the way. And so the next four or five miles here, it's pretty smooth uh, out. Uh, normally when I hop on this freeway, this freeway is very packed aside from the COVID. Um, 
it kicks me all the way to the fastest lane as soon as possible and that's what it's doing here and that's been my experience uh, for for several months now and so uh, and normally once it kicks me all the way back out to the fast lane I'll have a pretty smooth drive maybe I'll fast forward that piece and then um, the piece where I'm gonna hop on hop off the freeway I'll, I'll kind of show that last piece there just so we can see so at this point I'm about a mile and a half uh, before I need to get off and there's a big RV to the right of me and so it, it's gonna start signaling and normally when um, Tesla starts to signal, I give the confirmation right away just if, if I think it's a good spot to uh, make the lane change. And so I give the confirmation right away even though it's red, like you can see right there, even though it's red, uh, even though you give the confirmation, it doesn't change until Tesla thinks it's clear and then it'll make the lane change for you. And so it, it passed the RV a little bit there, I probably had like 50 feet and then it made that lane change for me. Again here I need to make one more lane change and so Tesla's going to try to find a spot and I'm going to try to squeeze in. Um, it looks like it's going to signal now and I give the confirmation. I, I know that it's probably going to pass this car before it goes in and so once it passes, once it thinks it's all clear, it'll move into the spot and then it'll take me off. And so that's the end of this trip. If you liked it, please hit the thumbs up if you watched this far. Um, one thing that I think Tesla is going to improve on in the future with more focus on city driving is that it will hopefully throw me into the right lane, uh, the proper lane when I get off the freeway. Usually once you get off the freeway you can make a right or a left and for me like my house is to the right but um, when I get off here Tesla always throws me to the left and so I, I hope that's a change that's going to come up in the future. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.